Welcome to the U.S. Customs House. 11 of you remain, but only one of you will walk away with $100,000, a feature in Ink Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. This week, we're testing composition. Composition in art is very important. It's being able to arrange elements where it makes sense and keeps the viewer's eye moving the whole time. New York is one of the most visited cities in the entire world, and this building has served as its gateway, welcoming travelers from near and far for over 200 years. Taco Bell is a brand that believes in living moss, doing more and expecting more, getting a little more out of every day. Your canvases today also live moss. They took a break from the everyday to travel somewhere they've always wanted to go. Now, they want a permanent souvenir to commemorate their experience. Today, you must tattoo a postcard. I know what a postcard looks like, but I'm having a hard time imagining how to translate that into a tattoo. For many years, before cameras were common, postcards were the only keepsakes people had of their adventures. Your canvases want their postcards personalized. It is a rectangular design, which might be really hard to make work for a composition challenge. The winner of the Flash Challenge will have the power to assign all human canvases in the elimination tattoo. You've each been randomly assigned a human canvas and will have four hours to tattoo. Head back to the shop and meet your canvases. What's up, I'm Tyler. Emily, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Adam. Matt. Postcard style artists are going to test their artistic skills more than their tattoo skills. Where are we doing your postcard at? You really come up with a great composition and something that fits the story that these canvases want. I went to Seattle. Okay. I was thinking of getting a garden scene with a space needle in the background. Hawaii, that's something that sticks with you. New York City. Okay. My favorite. Florida, Tampa. Tampa, good. I'm from Florida, so that works out easy. Do you want to do like some water? Uh, palms? Yeah, something like that. I'm gonna give them palm trees, beach, ocean, sunset. Everything's lining right up for me. All right, my friend, you ready to roll? Yep. Make this happen. You really want them coming in from behind, from the top. I don't think that water line's perfect right there. Chris thinks he's better than everyone in this competition. He already sees himself as number one. This is my chance to turn the tables. Okay, are you dead set on the ribs? I was thinking like higher up on the ribs. My canvas wants the word Niagara Falls, the Niagara Falls themselves, and the Rainbow Bridge in our postcard on the ribs. Because it's on the rib cage, everything I do, especially when it comes to liner, I have to take at half speed. I am not going to tattoo this girl's ribs. Do you have any plans for the front of your thighs? I'm not a, totally like opposed to it. Cool, awesome. I need to be able to work on an area of the body where I can concentrate on the composition instead of worrying about trying to tattoo a tough location. Okay, here we go. Ink Master, Master vs. Apprentice. New episodes Tuesdays at 10 or watch it now on the Spike app. Three hours remaining, guys. Three more hours. I do sick tattoos outside of this competition and then once I'm faced with rules and regulations and stuff, it showed in all my work.